Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, update the firmware of a Dell PowerEdge 630. Uh, this will uh, also apply somewhat the same way for the Dell PowerEdge 620 or the 640. Uh, so first, you would want to log in to your um, iDRAG controller. This is an update through iDRAG. And uh, if you don't know your IP address, I do have another video of how you can locate the iDRAG uh, for um, your server, uh, locate the IP address or find the IP address for your server. But uh, yeah, go ahead and look at the uh, link in the description of the video of that other video of how to identify the IP. But if you uh, already know the IP login and um, the default password as a reminder is always uh, root and then Calvin, C-A-L-V-I-N and then hit submit iDRAG is always slow to get in, that's normal. Um, it always takes at least 30 seconds for everything to load up. And uh, But while it's loading up, you can just uh, start going to the iDRAG setting, update and rollback is, is where I always go. And here in the update tab, which is the default, I would click on choose. And here you would um, go ahead and uh, navigate through the BIOS that you have downloaded. I have pre-downloaded the BIOS for the i630, which is this one right here, the 64-bit Windows version 2.15. Don't be fooled, the, the Windows version is the one that you need for the iDRAG update. So go ahead and click the 64-bit 2.15.exe uh, file right here and select it and click Upload. All right, so uploading, um, this is a pretty small file, I think about 16 gig, I mean, I'm sorry, 16 meg, something like that. But it only takes about a couple of uh, seconds here for it to uh, completely upload. All right, once it's uh, completely uploaded, it'll take another few seconds for it to confirm. If you get an error here, uh, simply means that your um, BIOS is uh, not the right one for your uh, server. So you need to find the right one. And after you're done, you can click on this to confirm that uh, currently I'm 2.8. I'm going to upgrade to 2.15. Go ahead and click on the checkbox. And um, I'm going to go ahead and install and reboot instead of click install next reboot. This is for if you are on a production server and you cannot do the install immediately, but on the next reboot, it will do so. That's very dangerous, by the way, just in case something goes wrong with, an, with the update you may be uh, left with a server that is inoperational. But I have a server here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a full attendant, uh, making sure that everything goes well. So I'm gonna hit install and reboot right now, which means that um, it's going to start the process of the download to the iDRAG, and then the, it inserts it to the job queue. So in the job queue here, um, you're gonna find this one right here that says that is is um, currently uh, downloading. So go ahead and um, just leave the page. It'll auto refresh, I think about every 10 seconds. And don't do anything. Make sure the power doesn't get interrupted uh, at this time because you will have um, some permanent damages on the firmware if you do. And uh, once it gets going, you can see that it's starting to change. This one right now just changed to scheduled 0%. Um, so your server may be starting up right now because um, for it to update the BIOS, obviously in, if it was powered off, it needs to start. So don't worry about that. It's going to start doing its own thing. And uh, it, it's going to take probably about, for a BIOS update, I would say 5-10 minutes. So I'm going to uh, pause the video and continue.